I'm gonna move and come back to trade the cold steel. Ah, the second day has has begun. Let's talk a bit. Not all nobles are the same. There are even low-ranking nobles like myself who own no land whatsoever. I do own a small business as Heimdallar, but there's hardly any difference between myself and the com common merchant. Truth be told, the nobles here in Barriard are a bit too dazzling for me. Okay. Oh. Let's get outside. New day, new stuff. Mommy said yes when I asked her if we could go play. <laughs> She's gotten really nice all of a sudden. Reno was rather persistent, so I brought him along today too. I did have some plans for dinner tonight, but oh well. I wasn't particularly thrilled by the idea of going in the first place. Hey, there they are again. It seems that Lotus was called home by the Duke. My word, just what business would the Duke have with someone like him? A good question. You can't really expect anyone to support Lord Jesus when Commander Blood crosses through his reign, can he? Lord Rufus will be the one taking his father's place, regardless. Lord Jesus is but a mere spar, should things go wrong. I know exactly how you feel, Matthias, but nothing good will come from confronting them. Ugh, <sighs> there's no need to tell me that. Let's go, we've got no business with these huge foods. Ah, <sighs> what is it, Commander? Please, if you have no business with us, be gone. You're reading the nice scenery. <laughs> I don't want to be within the vicinity of your clowns anyway. Hey, he's, take hey, he's taking a picture. Hello. It's almost time for my train home. I'm sad to leave, but all the good, all good things must come to an end. I suppose I should take some last minute pictures before leaving. So, so see restaurant. Yeah, let's go there and get the... Uh, Zeit müssen. Greetings and welcome. Hello Hammond. We are here to take up your request, but I'd like to thank you for that delicious meal last night first. It was good. Oh, I'm pleased to hear that. Might I ask where Lord uses this though? He was called back to the mansion, I'm afraid. You have we have plans to meet up with him in the afternoon, however. Is that so? It's too bad Yusus isn't here, considering this request is from his uncle. Anyway, I bought your request. Ah, yes, as I read, I would like you to gather some ingredients for me. Are you all currently free? If so, I will explain the details of what I need. Take up the request. Yes, we can take it up now. Please go ahead and explain. The request mentioned something about making a nostalgic dish. Correct. That dish isn't on our menu, but it's one that I would like you all to try. I assume it's a rather special dish then. There's no doubt how delicious it'll be if you're making it at least. What kind of dish is it? Perhaps soup is the best way to describe it. I plan on making enough for you all to enjoy, so please look forward to it. Yeah, <laughs> very well. What is it you need to us to gather then? There are two types of ingredients I'd like to ask you to gather for me. The first is Globby Fat, which can be collected from monsters on the highway. I need five of these. Of those to be exact. The other is an herb used by the Septian Church to synthesize medicine, called a healing herb. So five piles of flowy fat and healing herb. Where do we get the help from then? You will want to speak to Sister Tatiana at the Barrera Cathedral. I'm sure she'll be willing to part with one. Just tell her I sent you. Alright, that sounds easy enough. Shall we start on the task at hand then? Yeah, let's head to the Cathedral first. Roger. Okay, then... Where's the cathedral? I don't see it. <laughs> nope, nope. I came to offer my prayers before returning home. This will be the last time I get to do so at such a magnificent cathedral after all. Well, she is in there. Oh, 
Oh, good day. Is there something you need from me? You must be Sister Tatiana, I assume. Would you happen to have a healing herb that we could take with us? Hammond from Sorcerer told us that we'd be able to procure some here. Oh, is that so? I see. Would you mind waiting a bit while I prepare one for you? Here you go. Sixteen here. We really appreciate this, sister. This is an ingredient used for making medicine, isn't it? Is it safe to use for food, though? Too? Of course, it's a very healthy ingredient when used for food. The only issue is that it's very bitter, so some inventiveness on the part of the chef is required to hide it. That. I see. Hammond must have some way of doing so then. I'm kinda interested in how he does it. Likewise. <laughs> Same here. Well, uh, well, thank you again for the help. <laughs> You're welcome. So... We have this... Uh, if I think about it, the lobby fat, we should have two. Or not? Fight of Nostalgia. That was the healing help. Um, item, lobby fat. Ingredients. Lobby fat. Yeah, it. So we can already. Already. Give. Complete this quest. Hello again. I, I presume you've collected all the ingredients then? Yeah, everything is here and accounted for. Here you go. And the book Lobby Fat 5 and then the overhealing help. Much obliged. Please make your way over to the table. I will begin preparing the dish immediately. How was it? I call this dish the Licks Herb Chowder. It was beyond delicious. Ah, I feel a sort of comforting warmth throughout my body after eating it. Wouldn't mind having some of this if I ever caught a cold. Yeah, I must feel like a bowl of this might cure it outright. <laughs> I'm pleased to hear that. You did mention that this was rather a nostalgic dish. I assume you said it often then? That's correct, it was one of his favorite dishes even. To tell you the truth, the one who created this dish was none other than my sister herself. In other words, you should use this mother. I see. Well then. So that would make you his uncle then. Kind of surprising. Oh, oops, we didn't tell you true about that, did, did we? My apologies, I was under the impression that you were all aware. I wasn't expecting his mother to be the creator of this dish though. His mother must have been skilled at cooking if she could think of a dish this delicious. She was indeed. She would even come by to help out here from time to time. The first time she made this soup was when Lord Jesus fell ill during his younger years. She went to the church to ask for medical medicine and helps, after which she set about inventing a dish that would be both easy for him to digest and enjoyable to eat. Lord Jesus was always at the front of her mind. It really does sound like she cared deeply for him. And yet she lost her eight years ago. Sounds like he hasn't had such an easy life after all. Someone's thinking about uses. <laughs> Who might that be? It's certainly not me. <laughs> ah, I've already said too much. I was hoping that Lord Jesus would be here to enjoy this too, but at any rate, I'm happy that I could talk to you all about this. We got to learn a bit more about Jesus, so likewise. <laughs> well then, that brings my request to an end. Thank you all for your help. There's plenty of soup left over, so feel free to take it with you. See if the leaks have showed up with more five. Oh, thank you, sir. Let me give you this as well. It's the re recipe for the creamy chowder that th this dish was based off. It can be made with more common ingredients. If you have the time, you should try and make it for yourself. Creamy chowder. I kind of want to make it right now. I feel somewhat bad being treated by two delicious meal and then being talked in your re recipe. That's very generous of you. <laughs> this is the la least I can do for your user's friends. Goodbye then. I wish you luck with your future endeavors. Quest complete! Nice. That taken care of. Um, need to look fasty, fasty. I just don't know where I loaded. Nope.
Jeg tror, det er. Here, uh, this day there is also a hidden quest. Which we can start. Odysseus' well, mother was a commoner, I believe. There are some nobles who would speak ill of him because of that. It's not really my business, but I still find myself upset on his behalf. We need to be extra careful while we're here. The last thing I want is for either of us to be to upset the nobles. Me and Grandpa came here on a trip. This is the first time I've seen these nobles. I don't really see them near our place in Heimdall. Man, Anton's taking his time f feels like ages ago when he said he was going to walk over towards the canyon. Oh man, I'm sure I'm tired. And this is the queue for the for the hidden quest. We need to find him in the canyon. You just patted my head because I was a good boy. I hope we see him again soon. Plan on reading this book to bait and rabies since it's popular, but he won't let me read any more of it because there was a scary pot in it. <laughs> well, we won't be using it anymore, so perhaps you might like it instead. Red Moon Road, Chapter 5. Let's go into the gallery. Yeah, shortly, short, short, for short moment. Um, where is the boutique? Cobbler. General goods. Being polite is the best policy when it comes to serving nobles. They'll be much more favorable towards you if you focus on being as polite as possible rather than showing them goods. <laughs> That's something I finally learned from for myself recently. Let's get fresh milk. I already had some, but the um, it's. Better if you buy fresh milk here because there are extra scenes you can unlock with them. They're they're really minor, but still, if you want to watch everything, then <laughs> uh, a few better scopes again. No. Yep, and let's exchange the mirror. And outside. So now we need to go to Aarhus Fort again. There is the sort of missing person we need to find. Ah, yes, 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 yes. That's one. What? Ah. <laughs> I forgot that the uh, transition point is somewhat unclear on this map. I thought that there would be a, a movie. Uh, um, or the unlinked. Let's link up. Neutralized. Yes, we're safe. Mm. It really is, is telling now since the uh, fashion uh, four is is out for some time. That, uh, and you see the what is called the pop in, in in this game here compared to anything besides. Of course, you also have the lower resolution and everything, but the pop in is which, which I would say is the most distracting. I would have hoped that Falco makes um, a sorta 
do not the of the from trades of uh, pulls the one and two and pot as a uh, mean pots them to PlayStation 4 because PlayStation Pulse DS3 is uh, the announcement is rather imminent. Uh, they have hinted it on it and showed the first sort of picture and said they are thinking about making it exclusive to PS4. They're, they're, they're making it for PS4, but they don't know if if it's PS4 only or also on Vita. That's why uh, both predecessors both predecessors should be on, on the same console. Because if you play the second or third one, but, uh, uh, yeah, 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 in, in this series, it's as uh, the Trades of Cold Steel trilogy, it is mandatory, pretty much mandatory that you play the previous games. You have a sort of um, encyclopedia um, in, in the second game, as so, uh, a brief uh, summary of every chapter, what happens sort of in, in them, but this course not a real replacement for playing this game. A dangerous foe. Stay I mean you can't really put everything that is happening in a 80 hours game in My turn. text. There. You can do it but that that text would be yeah <laughs> But like I said, that's why I didn't want a PS4 port of them. I wouldn't even mind if it was just a 1080p port. Okay, it's safe for now. As far as I know, the, the game, the Trade of Cold Steel 1 and 2 run on uh, here, the fire engine, so it's come. It works on PS4 and everything, and so they don't. Need to make much up the resolution and everything, and most would be happy. These games are not about graphics, they are the story. So, this is our first thought. Uh, wait, how did I end up here? Uh, why do these things keep happening to me? Um, it's something to matter. You, you are my messiahs, sent by Idios to save me, aren't you? I am not quite sure how you. Reach that conclusion. Uh, you don't seem like you're a part of the provincial army, are you? What are you doing here? I'm lost, completely lost. I will find out. No worries. That's a rather positive outlook for someone who's completely lost. Who is he? Just talking with this man is making my head hurt. No, <laughs> well, at times like this, it just seems logical to try and stay positive no matter what. I think I may have reached my limit to that end, however. Uh, the, the head's unfortunate. How did you get here to begin with? Well, I happily tell you, but fair warning, it's a truly moving tale of hardship and woo. I hope you have got some boxes of tissue handy. Shall I begin? I think we pass. Oh, come on. Um, is there a short person? <sighs> Fine, I see what I can do. Actually, to tell you the truth, there's really not much to say. I wandered out onto the highway for a bit of a change of pace and happened to spot a rare butterfly so I chased after it and suddenly I found myself halfway along the canyon path surrounded by monsters so I ran, barely escaping with my life and turned up here the end uh, I see that sounds like quite a predicament as well as this guy is I don't think we can just leave him here like this in all good circumstances escort him back to town um, if you'd like we'd be willing to escort you back to Bear Rareheart Really? You would? Oh, thank you, thank you. You're such nice people. I wish those nasty, nasty provincial army soldiers were more like you. Something happened? Well, I went over and asked if one of them could escort me back to the city. But they just said that if I made my way here, I could get myself back the same way. Some people are just so cold-hearted, aren't they? Guess I shouldn't tell him I was thinking the same thing. I believe you all here. It looks as tough. Though, the goddess hasn't abandoned me after all though. Not out if she was kind enough to send you my way. <laughs> um, should we be 
be going then? Cause spare your heart, you will become. Quest started. And with this we have the game quest. Let's go here a bit. Hey, there are more cars now. I don't even know if it's really something ha is happening here. You're that really noisy traveler from before, aren't you? I say this one only once. You haven't got the time to deal with troublemakers like you are, aren't you? I still stress you get going. <laughs> if I don't need you telling me that. Come on, friends, let's get back to Briar Heart right away. Oh, sure. Oh, it's not useless, not with you. And most of the point, you're here with him instead. Well, whatever floats your boat, I suppose. <laughs> Man, they really have. Woke up with the wrong feet. Make up. <laughs> Feels like we've had more customers than usual the past couple of days. Please make yourself at home. Ah, my business talks dragged on longer than I expected, so it looks like I'll be staying in the night now. Orders from the fort definitely seem to be increasing in numbers again, though. What a nuisance. I might need a truck to make my deliveries at this rate. And with this, let's end the episode here, and see you next time. Bye bye!